in a million years you wouldn't expect one of the best British film wires of the modern era would be created by a member of the Pythons and starring Jamie Lee Curtis and that's what we have in the British classic movie A Fish Called Wanda now some people call this a heist comedy film I call it comedic film noir it was directed by the great Charles Crichton one of his uh, I think his last productions and written by that ever ever sardonic John Cleese uh, co-stars include uh, of course Jamie Lee Curtis Kevin Klein who won a uh, best supporting actor Oscar for it and uh, the uh, what he called the heart of the Pythons Michael Palin now uh, the three with a uh, uh, their accompli accomplice pose as a gang of diamond thieves who double cross one another to find the diamonds taken in the heist and for some bizarre region uh, reason John Cleese who plays a very stoic barrister in the movie becomes a central figure as uh, Wanda tries to locate the diamonds now the film had immense uh, great reviews and was eventually nominated for three Academy Awards um, my uh, John Cleese wrote it uh, basically it's based on the kind of the old uh, British uh, uh, what he called uh, thriller or caper movies of the 50s and 60s and what stands out is John Cleese it's more homage to uh, to the genre than anything else now uh, the plot is very you know straightforward uh, George Thomason is a London based gangster uh, who uh, works with his uh, right hand man Ken Pyle uh, who actually is an animal lover with a stutter and that's where the fish comes in uh, we'll talk about that later uh, now they're planning a jewel heist. They uh, bring in two Americans who claim they're brother and sister, but actually they're lovers, Wanda Gersowicz and weapons expert Otto West, who basically has a running gag in the movie that he thinks people uh, think he's stupid, but actually is stupid. He quotes all kind of psychological and research, psychobabble, and he gets things confused. But I think why Wanda likes him so much, Wanda gets horny every time someone speaks a foreign language to her, and Otto can speak the best uh, partial Italian and other languages uh, than she's ever seen. Now Wanda and Otto uh, are the drive to pod plot forward because he double crossed George after the heist. Now George's barrister Archie Leach, <laughs> which of course is the uh, original name of Cary Grant, a little inside joke there, decides to seduce as a George barrister so uh, he can persuade George to plead guilty and give up the location of the diamonds. Now, like most British barristers, uh, you know, they have a bad personal life. Uh, in this case, Archie's in a loveless marriage, and for some reason, something in Wanda ticks off his uh, romantic side and his intelligent side, and he quickly falls in love with Wanda. And Jamie Lee Curtis is a beautiful woman, but she's luminous in this movie. You know, uh, a, a, a nice personality in, inside and out. But the con artist person she plays, she kind of, not say gives it up, but uh, she, she basically falls uh, for... Um, Archie quickly because you know he's honest and she wants to maybe deep down get out now there's different rolling gags uh, in the movie basically how uh, Ken is a b b b bit, of, bit of a excuse me a stutter which is not played for laughs but it's played by a plot device and uh, uh, Ken is trying to also kill one of the witnesses to the crime and involves dogs it has to be seen to believe it's dark comedy at its finest and you will be laugh. Uh, you will laugh as the dinner mall goes on. Now, uh, Kevin Klein, who plays Otto, eats up scenery in every scene he does. And this is the problem here. Now, uh, John Cleese's character can be considered supporting or lead actor. Wasn't nominated the Oscars. Brain fart there. Although screenplay nomination, obviously. But he got recognized by the BAFTAs. But Kevin Klein won Best Supporting Actor, even technically. He's kind of a partial lead. So for Kevin Klein to be nominated and John Cleese not to be nominated makes no sense because actually the best scenes that Kevin Klein has in the movie are with John Cleese, especially a scene where uh, John Cleese finds him himself outside a window and he has to beg to get inside because he basically calls Otto stupid. Uh, and there's uh, some sexual confusion jokes and the big dunamas and end actually the last scene is sort of the british response to american imperialism it has to be uh, seen to be believed but the wanda in the movie is, is a plot point i don't want to give it away i always say that i'm not going to give it away 
but uh, because Ken has uh, hidden the, the keys to where the diamonds are in the uh, aquarium, Wanda plays a fact. Wanda the human and Wanda the fish. So again, it has to be uh, seen to be believed. Um, there is a, a partial kind of, what do you call a spiritual sequel to it called Fierce Creatures, which was released in 1997 with the uh, same cast. Now uh, the the movie uh, the movie itself is all it's all about presentation of the great British style of comedy. Uh, it also changed movie them in many ways. The movie's posters and art are uh, quite uh, uh, creative. Have to be seen to be believed. And on the DVD version does have some extra scenes. The soundtrack itself is tremendous. It's probably one of the most important British soundtracks of the 1980s. Now, non-Python work, this is probably the second best non-Python movie. I think Ta Time Bandits is a little bit better, but that's just me. I like Time Bandits because, you know, with the, uh, the quality of the, the, the Pythons and the different uh, characters. I really think A Fish Called Wanda could be considered a top 20 British movie of all time, although the uh, British Film Institute gave it top 40. Uh, I, I think it should be higher. Uh, no film since then has tried to duplicate the style of plot here. They've tried. There's many American, uh, Canadian, even British movies have tried. And John Cleese uh, once said uh, on CBC, this this movie was one was a, a glorious experience for him because he couldn't stop laughing because the big, the biggest acting uh, role he's ever had was in this movie. Uh, Faulty Towers was strong, but it wasn't dramatic. In half the time, you see John Cleese is trying not to laugh at his own script. There's scenes in here where you 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 must have respected the fact it went in John Cleese's brain like how can I not laugh here? And uh, you know Kevin Klein uh, he's hit and miss for me, but in this he's quite good. Did he deserve the best supporting uh, Oscar? Mm, uh, well, you know six of one and a half dozen another. Jamie Lee Curtis wasn't nominated, which is quite bizarre because you know this is probably or one of her top five performances besides Halloween and Trading Places. But we forget how, how beautiful Jamie Lee Curtis, well, she still is, but back in the day, she was a stone-cold fox, man. Uh, she'd come on and, and men would just perk up like Diane Lane. Like Dad said, you know, if you were married to Jamie Lee Curtis, you had to walk into a place and say, hey, man, I'm with the most beautiful woman in the world. I mean, she's a gorgeous inside and out. And uh, if I ever meet Jamie Lee Curtis, I'd say, listen, good work. And you, uh, you reflect your, uh, your, <laughs> you reflect your uh, mother, not your father. Because Tony couldn't act as good as Jamie Lee, and Jana Lee was uh, was quite good as well. So again, on this uh, rainy New Brunswick day, where it's eight degrees Celsius outside, just remember if you watch a fish call wanted for for the first time, give it to, give it a pace. It is. It's not like a Mr. Bean comedy, but it had aspects of that British, uh, you know, uh, dark humor, don't you know? And uh, one thing about the Python, so. Uh, they never stop working. There's other projects coming up. Some of their stuff is on Netflix. So check out the Pythons. Check out Jamie Lee Curtis. Kev check out Kevin Klein, Soap Dish, and The Big Chill. Um, but uh, my God, when we see Wanda for the first time, the real Wanda, it's a shock because we really don't know what Wanda he's talking about. And this is this is the Wanda, the the plot device. Uh, you know, 18 inches underwater. Hope this finds you well. Have a good day. Bye.